Well, today, today we're going to do a little bit of flaring. We're going to install this piece of tubing on our fuel pump assembly here. This is the fuel pump. This is the relief valve that lets the fuel recirculate if it's over pressure. This is the fuel filter. We're going to put a flare on the end of this piece of tubing. First thing we need to do is clean up this end here. Use our deburring tool. A few turns. To clean the inside out a little bit. Make a nice edge on it. Blow it out so it makes a nice clean edge like that. Put our connectors on. If you forget these, you have to throw the piece of tubing away. These help make the connection to the piece of equipment. Slide the tubing into the firing tool. Let's stick up a little bit. Gives us room to make the flare without pushing it against the tool itself. Tighten it up so it holds onto the tool well. Take our flaring device, install it over the tube. So the cone goes into the tube. Put a little dab of oil on it to help lubricate the flare. Then we'll turn this in. I find it seven times makes about the right size flare. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go a little bit more for this one. We'll back it off and work it a little bit to smooth out that seat. Take the tool off. Open up the jaws. about. We have a nice flare on the end. Examine the end and make sure there's no cracks or roughness to it. Looks like it's okay. Slide the fitting up. Fits on there nicely. And we'll install it on the fuel pump. That goes on that end. It fits on that end nicely. Tighten up the nuts. Everything is snugged up. Looks nice. No interference. Good job. 